So this so far so good. The government has enacted the cashless policy for Nigeria. How has it affected you? <laughs> That's finished me. <laughs> Who are you looking forward forward to as the president of Nigeria in this forthcoming election? Uh, for safety purposes, I don't think I'll be revealing that. Right. Hello, my name is Faith Omoboye, a journalist with Business Day, and we're here on the street of Apapa asking people what they think about the forthcoming elections and how the cashless policy affected their business and their lives. So take it away. We don't want anybody that would, you know, bring up a policy that will make life miserable for the people. So we want someone whom will make life more meaningful for the people and people will see such a person and see a leaders a leadership spirit in such person and people will be willing to want to go along with that person and believe that this person is actually the person that has been sent by God for us. Who are you looking forward, forward to as the president of Nigeria in this forthcoming election? Uh, for safety purposes, I don't think I'll be revealing that. I cannot say anything now, but the only thing where we are asking for is a good, it's a good government. It's a good government. By me, I know who I'm voting for. Uh, so what we are asking God is to bring a good leader that will lead this country because like how many years ago now we have not been having a good leader. So I'm asking God to give us a good leadership. <laughs> Anybody can emerge. Anybody. Yes. But a good candidate should. When the one my mind elects to vote, I will vote. I don't have choice now. But if I get my voting post, the one my spirit fought for, I will vote. Ha. I feel me so much. It's not only me. Everybody. I feel everybody. No. Apart from all this money, POS want to collect money from me and there, the charges do even me now to collect five thousand naira, they have to charge me even one thousand naira for five thousand. So it's not only me, everybody's complaining about that. Yeah, but I that naira note, ah no 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 no. If you want to collect uh, two thousand, they will charge you two five, which is very bad. Before two thousand two thousand naira just one hundred naira, but now it's uh, five hundred. Why the uh, four thousand naira is about five thousand uh, one thousand <laughs> That's finished me. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a laughing matter. Okay, I left work this morning, and I want to go and withdraw money at Fidelity Bank. Uh, I should not. Okay, let me not call the name of the bank. Let me even call the name of the bank. I went to withdraw money. I could not withdraw money. I was not even allowed to enter. My card was blocked. I, I asked them to give me a new card. No. The, the whole situation is affecting us, especially us that does not have money. You know, the rich people now, at least, they, they store money in their house and they can assess money. But those of us that don't have, that are even collecting salary, that we've not even seen the one who use and eat, we are, the, the, this whole matter is frustrating. Me, presently, I am frustrated. Uh, it has affected us. It has affected me badly. So because even in our work, in our working, in our working area, we don't used to people don't used to give us tips. So we don't used to as in we find it difficult even to for us to eat. It's a problem. So it's affecting us badly. Um, I won't say much, but this is this is how to cure the the corruption of this country because the corruption is too much. I believe that this uh, um, cashless policy will be more better because outside country because we are want we have to we are, are, are trying to imitate other country. So I, I believe this uh, cashless of uh, policy. policy is more okay. Like all like me, I'm I'm okay with it. It's a fair though because I have money in the bank, we cannot withdraw. And if you go to bank to withdraw, you will not be able to seek cash. And if you go to POS to withdraw, they will give you new uh, uh, old money. So you can't be able to get new cash. Okay. Mm -hmm. it me, it's like, <laughs> I'm just, uh, I don't really know. I've spent more. I've spent more. I'm very hungry. I've spent more. Okay. Definitely, we just need to adjust to the situation on ground right now. Cut down on our expenses and all that. Okay. It's not really about the issue of spending more, spending less. It's just that the situation on ground is, is very uh, unappalling. 
So it's a very terrible situation, okay? okay? So we can't have people suffering and people not having access to cash and people going through difficult times, not having access to get food for themselves. And you want me to say whether I save money or I don't save money. So I think that does not really make sense to me. Did they save for Nigeria now? <laughs> I've not saved. I've been spending, even though I do not even see money to spend. But I've not saved any. We've been buying money. You want to buy, like today, I want to withdraw 5,000. I was asked to drop one six from POS to withdraw 5,000. So it's so frustrating. We are frustrated. Those of us that don't have money, it is annoying. Going back home to... To me, to even go back home now, self, to meet my kids now. I did not see where to withdraw money. How can I spend when I don't have money? I don't have money to spend. So, uh, like I said earlier, it's affecting us. There's no money. There's no money to eat. So that is where the problem lies. So that's it. I, I don't spend much. Because if I go to POS or bank, I used to spend thousands or two thousand or three thousand. But when I'm doing um, transfer or, or POS or, um, or I'm sorry, online transaction. transaction or ATM, it's more okay. It's more, the transaction is more lexer. So, you, so you like this um, cashless policy by the government? I love it. I spent more because when I, when I collected that POS, they will charge me. They will charge me uh, more money than before. Although, doing to the cash currency in Nigeria, I would, I would probably say it, I'm going through a lot because I've not been able to get some cash to feed myself and to do some things. Although I don't, it's, not, it's not that I don't have money in bank, I have money, but the situation that is going on is too tough. So I will tell him to change in Nigeria, all this expensive food, you know, all these that are expensive in this Nigeria, I want Nigeria to change, yes. All about food and other things. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It should change everything totally. Since the market should come down. I, I don't even like this 1,000 naira. It should come out the 1,000 naira. We don't need it. We don't want 1,000 again. Oh well, create more jobs, better roads, welfare of the youths. A lot of things I can, if I keep saying that, I think we will not live here right now. No, he knows he's an intelligent man, so he has many things that he wants to change and he knows, I know, I believe in him that he's going to change many things. But firstly, firstly, once he just become president, he should ban all the POS agents in Nigeria. We don't need them again. They should go. He should just end all the POS agents. We don't need POS agents again. In, as in, in times of uh, uh, job, job uh, to provide job for people like uh, the unemployment, people that are both the graduates and undergraduates, so we need we need him to let that is there should be work. There should be more as in how would I put it? Job creation for job creation, yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of infrastructure infrastructure and all that. So that's it. Thank you. Well uh, all this uh, self uh, like uh, unemployment, there is a graduate. Some people have a uh, uh, a, a, enough of degree like, what do you call it, uh, a master degree, HND, but those people are in the house, they are not doing anything. So you want so job to create more jobs, yeah, government to create let more them, jobs? Let them create a job opportunity, let them create jobs. Well, so many things, corruption, you know our yes, system of uh, government is, is not good, but Things have been happening, the Boko Haram killing, insecurity everywhere, so we wish and pray for the best. Okay. Yes. Ah, we, we want the new president to improve because we want a better life. Because the situation that we are passing through is we are not feeling fine, we are not okay. Okay, I want him to be <laughs> shy. I just wanted to change everything about me. Change everything. Uh, they should change at least the situation of the country, the rates of the poverty in the country, you to get what to do for yourself instead of you to be hunting around the situation in country. Everyone knows that they should try and bring things up, at least 
skills and occupation in the country for youth to be able to uh, participate on it? I don't Ah, well, I was told you before, insecurity uh, and right. education. God will help me because nobody is perfect. So, what will you change? What will you, what, do you, what will you do if you are president? Yeah, I will try all I can do to make Nigeria improve, at least by economy, by you should allow the food to be coming out because the, the, the food is very, very important. In every situation now, you need to eat. I don't, I don't want to be president. So. You don't want to be president? <laughs> yes. Right. If I be a president, yes. eh, uh -huh. I probably I will, I will make the situation of the country. I will be looking towards the need of people in the country. Okay. I will make sure I will solve their issues. The a little one I can do, I will do it. But the one that I know I cannot do, I will still try my possible best to make sure everybody is satisfied in the country. There you have it. You've heard what Nigerians feel about the current situation in the country, the cashless policy and the forthcoming elections and your hopes for Nigeria. So my name is Faith Omobwe. To the next video, bye.